Try to fool me. How y'all doing today? I'm gonna give it some time for people to um come on here. Might give y'all a quick word. Something that Jesus laid on my heart. Something that, you know, I've been convicted about. I've been having I've been having a lot of deep conviction lately about spreading God's word. So that's why y'all see me out here tonight trying to do what I'm on this earth to do. Y'all, if y'all start signing in every day, I don't have the time yet. I don't have the time yet that I'm gonna be going live, but I will be going live every day. And I will set up a time, but it will be every day. So if y'all can catch me at that time when I designate it, then we will definitely um, be on to something. But I'm about to stop playing. And I'm about to be dead serious about spreading the word of God. And I just pray that um, y'all get some of this Jesus with me because I ain't perfect. I ain't perfect at all. So um, I just pray that y'all get some of this Jesus with me. Um, I'm gonna be coming out of, <clears throat> I'm be coming out of Isaiah chapter one, verse sixteen and seventeen. And it says, wash yourselves, make yourself clean, put away the evil of your doings from before my eyes, cease to do evil, learn to do good, seek justice, rebuke the oppressor, defend the fatherless, plead for the widow. <clears throat> and I read that because... That's just something that I got going on personally. And I know a lot of y'all might be struggling with the same thing, sins, you know, and just straying away from God and not staying focused as you need to. Um, so I'm going to start um, just repenting daily with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get on here and y'all can just repent with me and just just wash ourselves and just keep a, keep a praying, contrite spirit. But um, yeah, we gotta wash ourselves. We gotta keep ourselves clean. We gotta put away the evil things that are before our eyes. And evil things that's before our eyes is every day what we're looking at in this world. The rap music, the movies, the um, the TV shows. It's so many things that can distract us, and we have to put away those foolish things and be about things that are holy. We have to be about things that are holy. And what's holy is Yahweh and his son, Jesus. Because one day we will be in heaven. And all we will be doing is saying, holy, holy, holy. All we will, will be doing up there is praising God. That's all we will be doing. We're just going to be keeping Jesus first. Because he's going to be our light. He's going to be the sun. He's going to be the air we breathe. He's going to be the living water. He's going to be everything that we look for on earth. That's what he's going to be. Every, that's what he's going to be in heaven. Everything that we look for on earth, that's what he is in heaven. He's our water. He's our food. He's our shelter. He's our clothing. We ain't going to want for none of that. He's going to be the tree of life. We ain't going to never die. For eternity, we're going to be praising him. And if we don't want to choose that, to do right, right now on earth, then guess what? A lot of us going to be in hell. And it's going to also be an eternity. And it's going to be our skins burning. It's going to be ate up in the skin. Our skin, if you see in Revelation, our skin is going to be growing right back. Burning up again. Growing right back. Burn it up again. 
forever and ever. Forever and ever. National teeth crying. That's why you see, that's why you hear about stories about people on the other side who in hell burning. All they doing is yelling to their family members, yelling to their loved ones, don't come here. Do not come here. Please don't come here. Choose God, but de the devil has us so upside down in this world where we don't know what's right and what's wrong. We think, we think what's wrong is right, and we think what's right is wrong. So the devil got us so mixed up in this world, and he's so cunning, he's so crafty, you know he can do the same thing he did it in heaven. So you know he can do the same thing down here. We just humans. The angels, they were born to just do what God says. So if he can deceive angels, what are we? That he can't deceive us. And the revelation say, it's simply say in revelation that he's going to deceive the whole world. So we got to stay watchful. We got to stay praying because Jesus is coming back again one day. Whether y'all want to believe that or not, you don't have to believe it. That's your discretion. You don't have to believe that. But it's on my mind and it's on my heart and it's on my soul that I got to get myself right and I got to take as many people as I can with me to heaven. I got to win as many souls as I can possible because I don't want I don't want child blood to be on my hands. I don't want anybody blood to be on my hands to say that I didn't say Jesus is the savior. Jesus can turn your life around. Because I I see so many people every day and it's people that walk by me and I be like, "Dang, I wish I could have said something to them about God." Damn, I wish I could have had said something. And they, and they, because people be dealing with stuff and you can't even see it. On the outside, they look like they're okay, but in the inside, they, they dying, they depressed, they hurt. And you don't know that one word of upliftment. That's why the gospel is called the good news. That one word of upliftment can change their whole life. That person could have been about to commit suicide because the world that we live in. This social media is so many requirements. Everybody competing to be rich, competing to be this and that. And that's a lot of pressure on the kids that's growing up now. The kids that's growing up now, they got to think, oh, man, if I don't look like this, if I don't look like that, if I ain't got this, if I ain't got that, then I ain't nothing. And we look for the outside for self-esteem. When self-esteem, we're supposed to be getting it from ourselves. We're supposed to be getting that from Jesus. Jesus don't tell us nothing but good things about us in the Bible. So we have to read the Bible to see the good things that's, that's about us. But we look on the outside world to get self-esteem. And, and, that's, and that's where the contradiction comes. That's, that's when it get bad. Because if you look, if you're searching on the outside to get that self-worth, then you ain't going to never have it. You ain't going to never have it. You can't please everybody. That's what Julius Caesar even said that. He was king. You can't please everybody. You can please half of the people, but you'll never be able to please everybody. So, um, like I said, man, what I came from, for people who just tapping in, I came from Isaiah. Chapter 1, verse 16 and 17, it says, Wash yourselves, make yourselves clean. Put away the evil of your doings from before my eyes. Cease to do evil. It means to stop doing evil. Learn to do good. Seek justice. Rebuke the oppressor. Defend the fatherless. Plead for the widow. <clears throat> so for everybody just tapping in, that's, what, that's the verse I came from. And I just want to say I love y'all. I'm praying for y'all, and I and I just pray that um y'all find Jesus. Y'all haven't found him found him yet, and I pray that the people that know Jesus just continue to build a better and better relationship with him, and not just be a religion, but build a relationship with him like you would with anyone else: your father, your mother, your brother, your sister, your cousin. And I'm out. I'm a, um.
pray us out. Father God, we come to you as humble as we know how, Lord God, and respectful, Father God. We heard the word today, Father God. Please just help us seek justice. Help us seek peace, Father God. Help us do good, Father God. Help us stop doing these evil things that we do, Father God. Even if we're doing it unintentionally, Father God, bring it, open our eyes and show us that what we're doing is wrong, Father God. Father God, help us lay up treasures in heaven, Father God. Where, where thieves can't steal, Father God, or moths eat up, Father God. Help us lay up all our treasure in heaven, Father God, so when we get up there, we'll have a great reward, Father God. Help us keep you first, Father God, in the kingdom of heaven, and we know all things will come to us, Father God. We love you, we adore you, Father God, and we worship you, Father God. In Jesus' name, amen.